Hey there, what's going on guys, Woogie Tooth you want to hear and in today's news the top 5 maps I think should be remade in Black Ops 3 so before I want to start, before I start off this video I'd just like to say thank you guys for 1000 subscribers we hit it around 4 days ago now and it's been absolutely crazy there will be a thank you video coming out very soon thanking you guys for all the support you've been giving me throughout this last year and I'd just like to say thank you so uh, one last thing as well, I've actually made a Twitch account if you didn't know already uh, it'll be the first thing in the description down below or at Woogie 2312 so let's get into this video so of course, with Black Ops 3 and like any Call of Duty since Black Ops, there's going to be four DLCs. And in these four DLCs, there's usually one remake map. That's just ca kind of how it's been going right now. And so there's going to be a total of four re remake maps during Black Ops 3's life cycle. And in this list, I just want to just go down the most uh, viable options and the ones I think should be remade into Black Ops 3. So let's get into it. So coming in at number five, we have Fire and Reach. So you're thinking, Wookie, this has already been re remade. Why would try to remake it again? Well, there's something about this map. And of course, maps are, have been remade twice, as you can see with Nuke Town 2065. Well, this map is just honestly, this, my, first off, it's my second favorite map in Black Ops. And um, what makes this map really good is it's good, for, it's good for all weapons. It's good for snipers in the tower. It's good for assault rifles. It's good for shotguns. It's good for SMGs when you want to go down the back ends and, of course, uh, take people out from behind. It's just perfect for all kind of weapons. And it's pretty good for game modes like Search and Destroy and Domination when the flag, sp uh, the flag spots are really good. For example, the B spot has lots of good action in it. And honestly, it's, it's a perfect size map. I mean, it's not too small that you just die every 10 seconds. And it's not too large that you're there 30 seconds and still looking for a guy. It's just a perfect balance of a map, and honestly, one of the greatest maps that Trag have ever made. So that's why it should, that's why it's at number five. So coming in at number four, we have Grind from Black Ops Two. So Grind was um was the first it was part of the first DLC which was Revolution in Black Ops Two. And what makes this map good, and I believe the, honestly the community believes this as well, is that it has, is first off it's a perfect size map. But again, it's not too big and it's not too small. It's in that perfect happy me uh, medium. And another thing is we ha I just absolutely love the curves around this map. I mean, it has a kind of different feel to all the other maps because of course using and standard maps is just a wall which you can go around, take it over behind. But this is part of a skate park which means there's lots of curved edges. And honestly, it's just honestly just a perfect map for Black Ops Three. So course Warbrand is going to be a big part of Black Ops 3 and with this curved edges and all the ramp kind of features to it it's going to mean that Trek don't really have to do much with the war uh, with the war ring to make of course war ring work on this map because of course there's loads of great spots to war run on this map and it's honestly I think it'd be a perfect map for Black Ops 3 and of course with the RCXDs you can go up the ramps and it's just so cool with the RCXDs but uh, that's why it's at number four so Coming in at number three, which honestly I believe is the best looking map in honestly Trucks history, and this is Jungle from Black Ops. So Jungle from Black Ops was my favorite map in Call of Duty, and there's two reasons for this. Number one, the ma this map was absolutely pretty. It looked it reminds me of Shinonuma from World of War, uh, the zombies map. If you don't know, um, it looks absolutely great. Like the beautiful lush trees. Of course, it was on Xbox 360, so the it kind of didn't look as good, but can honestly, this uh, this map on next gen graphics will look absolutely amazing. We've seen this with Advanced Warfare and Ghost, like maps just look so much better now, and of course, Jungle will just look absolutely unbelievable on Black Ops 3. So, and another reason why this map is really good, it's just really good for long range guns. LMGs and snipers kind of really dominate on this map, in my opinion. You've got really long range sight lines where you can take people out from cross map, which you, you might you might think, oh, how is that good? But it just kind of it just it just makes it a good map for sniper rifles and LMGs. But of course, it's also good for. SMGs as well because guys know um uh, the part of the map, like right at the middle of the map, there's a kind of a bridge, which I've seen so many times in Black Ops where you just have fi uh, fight, uh, firefights, and it's honestly, it just makes for an absolutely good time. You know, there's loads of action around the left side of the map, and of course, if you want to take a more stealthy approach, maybe want to sit back and snipe, you can totally do that. So it suits every type of game style, and honestly, it's just an absolutely great map. So coming in to number two is Raid from Black Ops 2. So Raid from Black Ops 2 was a map that's just great for every game mode. I mean, Domination played absolutely amazing on it. Search and Destroy was great on it. it. Just honestly, it was just perfect map for every single game mode. When you saw Raid on your Search and Destroy or your Domination map, everyone picked it. And the reason for this is it just again it was a perfect size map. Like you can see, kind of the trend going on here. Kind of medium sized maps, in my opinion, were kind of the greatest maps in Call of Duty and Trucks Call of Duty is anyway. But um. First off, this map was great for snipers as well. Snipers, um, if you guys didn't know, uh, there's kind of two buildings that separate each other, and as you see it all the time, snipers could duel off there straight from spawn and made for an absolutely good time. If you want to play like an SMG, you can move around a gun and guy. You can go around the um, sides of the map, uh, go around the back of the uh, map, and it just made for absolutely great time. So it was worked well for again for SMGs and for long range guns like LMGs and sniper rifles. And of course, you have that middle where all the action takes place, so you can never be lost in that map. You can never think, all right, there's no enemies around here I've been looking for like 
30 seconds now. Honestly, it made for an absolutely great and action-packed map, and it was just honestly, it was perfect for every single game mode. So, if you guys don't know already, coming in at number one is Standoff from Black Ops 2. This is my all-time favorite map in Black Ops 2, and my favorite map out of all the trail games uh, to be released. And one of the reasons why this map is so great is just the layout of the map. Well, first off, if you want to go from spawn straight to the two buildings and snipe off uh, against your opposing team, you can totally do that. It was absolutely great. It was absolutely fun for snipers as well. Or if, again, you want to use SMGs, you can go into the house and maybe have a really good firefight there. You want to use shotguns, again, go into the buildings. You can go around the back ends of the map. Uh, you can do so much map, it suited every single playstyle that you wanted to do in Black Ops 2. And of course, for game modes like Domination, Search and Destroy, um, the first off, the bomb sites were in a, just a great place. Um, Domination map B was such a hectic spot, I remember that so much. Honestly, it just made for a great map, and if there's one map that I really want it to be remade in Black Ops 3, it's got to be standoff. Of course, if they want to add some more random features to it, they can totally do that, I will not mind, but honestly, this map has got to be the greatest in Trex history. And of course, that's it for the top 5. Of course, you can leave your top 5 down below. Did you agree with me or did you not? Uh, tell me in the comment section down below. If you did like the video, you can hit that like button. That would be greatly appreciated. And of course, I would just like to say thanks for watching.